Good morning, sir. My uncle told me you were coming today to fix the internet connection. I'm sorry. You're the tech the internet company had to send, right? Good morning. No, I'm not the tech. You are. No, are you Dennis? Wow, look how much you've grown. It's unbelievable. I'm amazed. Excuse me, do you know my name? How is it possible? I've never seen you before. Then, you are not the tech. I'm sorry, but you will have to leave. I shouldn't have opened the door. My uncle told me never to do that. But, how do you know my name? Who are you? Don't you really recognize me? Look at me. We have the same eyes. The same hair. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I know. You're one of my relatives. One of my uncles. No, I'm not. Look at you. You are tall and you're a man now. I haven't seen you since you were only a baby. Well, that was the last time I saw you. But son, now I've come back. And we can make up for all the time we lost. Isn't that amazing? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Did you call me son? Why did you? Yes, that's right. I am your father. Don't you recognize me? Look at me. I'm just like you. We look a lot alike. Your hair, your eyes. That nose. I am your father. I've come back to spend time together. We can go to the park, to the movies, to the beach. What do you say, son? Aren't you happy to see your father? Come on, give me a hug. But, I don't get it. My uncle, he told me you had to travel when I was a baby and now. Now you're here. I never understood. If you were my father, why did you abandon me? Why did you leave? Why didn't you stay with my mom and me? I don't understand. Look, I know I did wrong. But I was scared. We, human beings, make many mistakes. But that doesn't mean that I don't love you. I've always thought about you. All the time. I didn't come before because I was working hard. Your father is now a successful businessman. I have my own stores and I earn good money. That's why I left. To work hard for you. Your uncle Lucas never understood that. He is my brother, but he never forgave me. I want to give you everything I couldn't in the past. Please, give me an opportunity. And also your mom. I can help you both now. We used to be very happy together. By the way, where is she? Is she still working in that factory? That was the last I heard from her. My mom died. She died five years ago. My uncle Lucas raised me since that happened. Oh, then she died. I'm sorry to hear that. It must have been hard for you, son. I'm sorry. But look, now you're not alone. You have me. Your father. We can spend time together. I want to know everything about you. Your favorite movie, your favorite color. Everything. What do you like to do? Do you like going to the beach? We can go whenever you want. Yeah, well. I love going to the beach, but I'm not sure. I don't know how to feel. Just give me a chance. I promise you won't regret it, son. We'll have fun together. Here's your father. I love you so much, son. Let's make up for all the time we lost. I guess you're right. I feel alone. I need my father. I missed you so much.
Me too, son. I missed you so much. Come on, let's go to the mall. I'll buy you a present. I like that idea. Okay, dad. Can I call you like that? It's weird for me. Of course, I am your father. Call me dad. I will start the car, then. All right, dad. Oh, my god. My father is here. I can't believe it. Hello, Dennis. I heard somebody knocking the door. Who was it? Uncle Lucas. You're not gonna believe it. It was my dad. He came here for me. So, he finally came. I never thought that he would really be able to come. Wait, how do you know he was gonna come here? Did you talk to him or what? I don't get it. Yeah, he called me. We talked on the phone a week ago. He told me he was coming to see you. Then, why didn't you tell me anything about it? You knew my father was here and you didn't tell me anything. I thought he was lying. He always does that. He can't stop lying. And now he comes here. I deserve to know. You should have told me my father was here. Why did you do that? Dennis, listen. Your father is not a good person. He abandoned you when you were a child. He wasn't even here when your mother died. He was never here for you. He is not a good father. I know he's my brother, but I don't want him to hurt you, son. Please, listen to me. You don't decide that. I am the one who decides. He is my father and it's my life, uncle. He made a mistake, yeah, but we all make mistakes, right? He is my father and I want to be with him. I raised you. I just want you to be happy and I don't want anybody to hurt you, son. I am not your son. You're just my uncle. He is my real father, so I'm going with him. All right, all right. You're right. It's your decision. I'm really sorry. Of course it's my decision. I'm not a child anymore. I missed my father so much. Hey, son. Are you okay? You look angry. What happened? It's nothing, dad. I was just talking to my uncle. I'm ready to go with you. Let's go. Yeah, about that. A person called me and he needs me in one of my stores in Canada. I have to travel to Canada. You understand, right? But I will come back someday. I will call you, okay? Yeah, whatever. Don't worry. Just leave. That's okay, sir. Hello. Dennis, I'm sorry about what happened a while ago. I love you and, what's wrong? He did it again, right? Oh, Dennis, I'm really sorry. Come here, son. How is it possible, Uncle Lucas? How is it possible my father doesn't love me? Why? It's not your fault. He is not a good father or a good person. It's not your fault. Dennis, wait. That bastard. No, no. He is gonna listen to me. Listeners, I hope you like this conversation. If you cool and improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with friends. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the Soper Think button. Thanks.